In today's video lecture, I'm going to talk about immune-mediated skin disorders. And as you know that skin is an anatomical innate immune uh, organ as the pH of the skin is between 3 and 5. And sebum from sebaceous gland is responsible for this uh, pH of the skin. And now I'm going to talk about some examples of immune mediated skin disorders. The first example is lichen planus. Lichen planus, it is, an, it is believed to be an autoimmune disorder that affects the skin and the mucous membrane of the oral cavity. It is due to uh, accumulation or infiltration of the line between the epidermis and the dermis by uh, lymphocytes. So lymphocytes, they accumulate along the line as a, as a dermo-epidermal junction. In, in the oral cavity, uh, actually, it, 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 it leads to a painful shallow ulcer. In the skin, it leads to a babius purbul babi or coalist babius. The second example is articaria that leads to pleuritis. And in articaria, it could be it is due to mast cell mediators. And as you know that mast cell, they have uh, specific receptors for IgE antibodies. These receptors uh, are known as FC epsilon R1 receptor. So when the IgE uh, sit in these receptors and crossed by the antigens, this will lead to liberation of primary and secondary uh, mediators. Uh, for example, histamine, platelet activating uh, factor, isinophil chemoattractant factor, neutrophil chemoattractant factor, and these uh, lead to peroritis. Also, as articaria, it could be a muscle independent, as in hereditary uh, angioneuritic edema. It is uh, due to uh, deficiency of complement component uh, number one inhibitory uh, factor, and this leads to ongoing activation of the complement uh, system and leads to a swelling of, for example, lips and throat and may lead to suffocation. The third example of immune-mediated skin disorder is psoriasis. This is a uh, scaly uh, skin uh, disorder. It is uh, it may associate it with uh, HLA CW0602 allele. Uh, but however, psoriasis is a T cell disorder, and uh, T cell in, in interact with or lymphocytes interact T helper cell uh, interact with. Uh, keratinocytes and these lead to liberation of some uh, cytokines for example interleukin number 12 interferon gamma and tumor necrosis factor alpha uh, together with growth factor this will lead to growth of the keratinocytes and these pro-inflammatory cytokines will lead to chronic inflammatory skin disorder also, systemic lupus erythematosus may be associated with skin disorder uh, in form of butterfly uh, pigmentation or 
malar flush. It is due to deposition of immune complexes. However, uh, there is a localized form of lupus erythematosus known as discoid lupus erythematosus, and this will lead to a well circumscribed, uh, well demarcated discoid skin lesion. It is not uh, systemic. And also, uh, example for skin uh, disorders or immune mediated skin disorder is acne vulgaris. Acne vulgaris, as you know, that the pH of the skin is between 3 and 5, and this does not allow microorganisms to grow in skin. However, in some instances, some bacteria may feed on sebum and this will lead to uh, acne vulgaris. Uh, another example of skin mediated or uh, immune mediated skin disorder is Benfigus vulgaris. So some individuals may upregulate or they may mount uh, IgG anti cement antibodies. Uh, and as you know, the cement. Uh, attach or connect keratinocytes together. So appearance of these antibodies together with a specific uh, antigens, it will lead to uh, immune complexes and the, uh, it will lead, and in turn, it will lead to abrasions or very superficial ulcers. In case of bullous benfigoid, the immune complexes here, they, they, they act at the junction between epidermis and dermis with subsequent uh, separation of epidermis from the dermis and the resultant uh, space is filled with uh, plasma. So this is, is due to immune complex bullous pemphigoid as the dermo epidermal junction. Also another example uh, of or for immune mediated skin disorders is vitiligo. Vitiligo, uh, patients with vitiligo may, may, may lose the color of the skin in some areas and it is due to antibodies against uh, melanocytes. In case of alopecia areata, which is uh, immune mediated skin disorder. This usually uh, it is cell mediated uh, immunity and it is due to accumulation or infil infiltration of the cell surrounding the pulp and the hair follicle and lead to loss of hair and alopecia. And this alopecia areata may associate some autoimmune disorders, for example, Hashimoto thyroiditis and myasthenia gravis. Other example of immune-mediated skin disorder is cryoglobulinemia. So patients with cryoglobulinemia, they present with perporic papules, and it is due to abnormal uh, antibodies that uh, precipitate at low uh, temperature. Uh, other example for immune mediated skin disorder is dermatomyositis, and this usually affects uh, elderly, and the patient uh, will present with uh, dermal lesion together with uh, bilateral symmetrical uh, uh, proximal uh, myositis. So the pigmentation in dermatomyositis, it is uh, pink or uh, it is lily in color. And it is due to uh, immune uh, complex. And also another example for immune-mediated skin disorder, it, it is uh, T-cell 
T-cell cancer. T-cell cancer may lead to uh, skin uh, disorder, which is uh, very similar to fungal infection. Uh, hence, the name was mycosis fungoides, but now it is uh, T-cell cancer of the skin. Thank you very much, Professor Ahmed Boulad.